Hello, and welcome to this showcase of TCR Gaming's Empire Island. This is a map that we made for the Planet Minecraft Island Resort competition, which finished quite a long time ago, and this is a showcase of that map for you. So this is the thumbnail view that we had for our Planet Minecraft page, so this is a good place to start. For the tour, we're going to start at this end on the beach. So this is the beach that we made, the tip of our headland, we only did one headland. So we have our beach area here, beat with lighthouse, palm tree, etc. Little farm. We made this stream that comes down the path next to the farm. For our island resort, we the theme for it was we were going to do a house in each different kind of style that we could think of. So we've got kind of a modern house here, and then a classic brick house, sort of Tudor house, and a, a I don't know sandstone house I guess over there, and a block of flats there. So we'll start with the uh, the big modern house here, and all the houses. And one of my friends, Joel, <laughs> he had the idea of putting all the different houses into a into German let into German depending on their materials. So this is the Wollenfaff. Don't ask me where the word Faff comes in. It's just in all the houses. So this is the lounge of my modern house and a dining room just down these stairs in the conservatory. Mind you, I suppose you could argue it's pretty much all a conservatory. So out on this little terrace here, there's some stairs down to the port down there. And down these stairs is the viewing room or guard area or whatever you want to think of it as. So this is my little kitchen area. All the, uh, don't know what you have to do in a kitchen, but never mind. Uh, Smeg fridge. Yeah, the doors are all a bit retarded because this map was built before the updates came and screwed all that up. So this is the uh, little kitchen conservatory. And down here is the office, which looks out onto the beach, which is very nice. these stairs. There's a balcony here which has a brilliant view over the island and the beach you can see. The staircase kind of comes up around this uh, central part of the house. There's a sun lounging area here and there's another little sort of terrace balcony thing here and this is the bedroom in here. Quite a nice house. Now, the brick house, or the brick and faff. More classic kind of design, brick and wood. So in here, we've got red carpet, brick, and an illuminated kind of area here. This one wasn't furnished. This is a ornate kind of conservatory thing in here. With a fancy roof and stairs coming supposedly. Now upstairs there's this sort of glass roof landing bit and in here this was going to be a kind of second bedroom or a bathroom kind of room but we never got around to furnishing this house. And in here was going to be the sort of master suite area, the bedroom kind of area. And this house has its own balcony as well. Um, The Tudor house seems to have had a bit of an incident, if I'm honest. Uh, that wasn't meant to happen, but yeah. So, I think we'll avoid... Well, you kind of get the idea, it was just a Tudor-style house with a uh, Tudor-style arch roof, uh, wood and white, and downstairs with a brick floor and separated rooms, but obviously it's all further down for some reason. 
probably that lot of them. Now we'll have an explore of this house before this burns down as well. So in here, before it all burnt down, this is the dining room and Joel furnished this house, the same guy that did the signs. And downstairs we've got a little kitchen with a little utility area and a grand piano. And in here is the conservatory, complete with ba -da -ba, a toilet. We all need one of those. If you're wondering what that is, it's just a cauldron sunken into the floor in some stone slabs and then two blocks of black wall and a button. And that's all it is. Oh dear. If you're washing your hands in the sink, looks like you're going to be looking at Jesus. Right. Now, in here, there's a little courtyard garden, which is very nice. A fountain. Farm up here, just a little farm. Quite nice little nook. The block of flats is done in a brick, classic brick design as well, but this wasn't furnished or separated or anything. But on the top floor, there is a large terrace here, which would be uh, quite useful for sunbathing and all the like. Up there is just the entrance to our little town. This is the metro station here, and this connects one end of the island to the other end. And we've got the little reception desk with the piston operated counter there. Lapis flooring, we like this, this is our design. Right now, let me just get one of these trains. Oh, what am I doing? had for our towns and everything for ages and ages. So, this is the castle, but for, so I'll give you a flying tour of this. There's a little garden here, a little picnic area. And down here, there's a spiral staircase down to the beach. Because this is quite a nice little beach, so you can be sunbathing if it starts to rain. Ah, uh, run under here. It's not raining anymore. So, flying over the castle. Made out of stone brick, and it perches on the edge of this uh, on the edge of this cliff here. It's very nice. Inside, there's lots and lots of lighting that looks best at night. So if we just set it to night time, yes, let's turn this off. Then you can see. It does look very good at night. And then up here we have the little towers, but these were never completed. We had no need to ever complete them. Let's just fly back. And one thing to show you on the way back to the Pinewood Headland. Now this we made to replicate a sort of abandoned uh, base or an abandoned mine or something of the like. So there's a redstone switch here which does absolutely nothing useful apart from opening that door. And it's just supposed to look a bit weird, a bit, you know, there's nothing in it. It's just, it's mainly just supposed to be a little
actually I'm not, I'll just stay here. Actually, I'll go around the other side because you don't want to see that ruin. <laughs> That's better. If you like this map, you can download it from Planet Minecraft, and I'll put a link in the description. And if you're wondering which texture pack I'm using, it's LB Photorealism 256 bit texture pack. Uh, if you put that into Google, you'll find it very easily. It's one of the most popular texture packs I've ever seen in Minecraft. And I'll also put a link for that in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you get the map, hope you enjoy looking around for yourself. And I've never actually seen that Tudor house burn down before, so hopefully it shouldn't happen on your save, but you never know. It's just one of those things, isn't it, I suppose. Thank you for watching, and we're doing a Let's Play series at the moment on Survival Island, so just keep watch of my channel, and we're going to be uploading up to ten episodes of that, and we've got the first one out already, and the second one is uploading right now. So that's well, well underway, and we're going to start recording episodes 3 and 4 this afternoon. So keep tuned on my channel, and hopefully tomorrow episode 3 will be up. But thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy this map.